Hey gang. 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 Okay, well, first thing I want to do is I want to apologize for there not being a video last week. I actually recorded a video, but I didn't get a chance to edit it. I mean, I could have edited it, but by the time I went to edit it, the internet had gone down, so I didn't bother. And then by the time the internet came back up, Laura had already recorded and uh, put up her video, and then I just kind of didn't bother. And at this point in time, there's, you know, no point in putting it up, so I probably won't. But uh, I am sorry. Um, that I didn't uh, get my video up last week, and um, I will take a punishment if anyone wants to give me one. Okay, the second order of business is answering Mihil's question, which was basically, if you were a piece of furniture, what would you be? And my answer to that is I would be a dining room table. Um, one of my favorite things, and I think I've mentioned this before, is serving food to people. And I guess um, sort of the apropos piece of furniture for that would have to be a dining room table. I would not be an Ikea dining room table. I do not like Ikea furniture. I really like Dan's suggestion from Sunday. It sounds a little weird saying Dan and Sunday in the same sentence. But um, I like the idea of being able to post a video at any point in time in the week whenever you've got anything to say. Um, and I think that we should probably explore that and maybe give it a whirl. Um, one of the things about for me posting on Monday is the fact that by like nine o'clock in the morning here on Monday, it's already you know like twelve o one in Australia on Tuesday morning. So I don't have a lot of time between when it's time for Laws to post her video and when I'm just starting to post my video. Um, so that kind of you know puts a little pressure on me. Not that I mind it. But it's just one of the things that I've come to realize is a, is a, a, a sort of an imperative of the fact that the world turns the way that it does. Um, I think we should definitely give that a whirl. I think that we should try it out for maybe a little while. But I would add one thing that I think that we should require that everybody posts at least one video a week, regardless of whether you've got anything really exceptional to say, just because of the fact that we want everybody to participate in the project and... Um, Posting a video a week uh, just keeps us all involved to the same extent as everybody else. You know, James, I worked for a camera company for four years working with uh, technical support for digital cameras, and I can't tell you why macro mode and close, it means close up. I never understood that either, and I've asked, and nobody seems to have a really good answer for that question. Actually, I think I'd like to be a reclining chair. So I tweeted a couple of weeks ago about being in love with the game Spore, and I'm still totally in love with the game Spore. The only real thing that kind of annoys me about it is just as you're starting to sort of get ahead in the space part of the game, um, the computer seems to throw a lot of unnecessary little things at you, like your planets come under attack from pirates and whatnot, and that really annoys me. Um, but otherwise, the game is totally awesome, and it consumes a fair amount of my free time, which, you know, admittedly isn't a lot, but when I do have free time, I tend to be playing Spore. Since the beginning of October, it started to get really cold here, um, which means that winter is on its way, and I am not a big fan of winter. Uh, on the way to the store today, I saw a couple of woolly bear caterpillars, and... You can, according to my grandfather, which of course is, this is just a, a folk legend, you can tell how long winter is going to be by the length of the black ends on the woolly bear caterpillar. I don't know if you all have woolly bear caterpillars, but I'll show a picture of it here. Um, and uh, both of the woolly bear caterpillars that I saw said that uh, we're going to have a long winter, but it's not going to be a cold winter. Um, I don't really care whether it's going to be a cold winter or not. I just want a short winter. Last year we had a very long winter that wasn't very cold, and it was awful. So I'm hoping for a short, warm winter, which is not going to happen because it's already getting down to just barely above zero. Okay, so a while ago my housemate's daughter's cat picked up some fleas and brought them inside. And so I've been fighting off the fleas. Now, thankfully, I don't get bit by them, but they're getting bit by them. So it's been a couple of weeks, and they're starting to drive them crazy. 
Um, I still haven't figured out how to get rid of the fleas, but I'm bathing the dog and the cat on a regular basis. But if anybody knows a surefire way to eradicate fleas that doesn't involve blowing up the house and starting from scratch, let me know. Well, I guess that's it for me. Um, Laura, I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. This is the basement. John's room is over there. Shh.